Uh, you may not have gotten the beginning of this. Let's take another stab at recording this video. video. Um, we're going to examine, examine three different problem scenarios or cases. That's a less than, a greater than, and a between. And we're going to use our example from the chapter notes on IQ scores. Um, so it says the distribution of IQ scores is normally distributed with a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 15. Find the following. So you notice highlighted in yellow, I went ahead and identified the mean and I identified the standard deviation. Uh, I will go to StatCrunch in just a minute um, to show you how, where this came from, but we've been using the normal calculator. So here's the displays from actually doing the calculations. So find the probability that a randomly selected adult has an IQ that is below 125. This is a less than problem or a less than case. So this probability says that X is less than 125. Um, and when we do that calculation with StatCrunch, we're gonna see that it equals 0 0.9522 or 95.22%. So the interpretation sentence is if one adult, and the idea that it's only one adult is key here. If one adult is randomly selected, the probability their IQ is less than 125 is approximately 95%. So let's go ahead and open StatCrunch. Um, so uh, I want us to notice, too, everything we're doing here, we're going from a score to a probability. We're, later on, we're going to go from a probability to a score. Right now, we're going from a score to a probability. So I'm going to do stat, calculator, the normal calculator, and my mean is 100. The standard deviation is 15. The first problem is less than 125. If I click compute, sure enough, I get 95.22%. Well, think about the other two cases we're going to see. I'm going to go ahead and do them here, and then we'll go back and you'll see the displays from StatCrunch. I'm going to change this sign to greater than. Don't be concerned about the fact that it's greater than or equal to. And on the sample problem, we put just greater than or less than. It's not. It doesn't matter in this case. And there's a ex calculus explanation behind that. But uh, we want to do greater than 90. When I click that, we're going to find that that probability comes to 74.75% or 0 0.7475. And then when we do a between problem, we click, everybody see where the cursor is. I'm going to click between. Notice, by the way, notice my inequality signs are both pointing to the left but I want the probability between 90 and 125. If I click compute, I'm gonna get around a 0 0.6997. That's gonna to round to about 70%. Notice the shaded areas on each one of these when we go back. So that's how you do these problems in StatCrunch. I'm gonna come back out of StatCrunch now. So again, let's go through what we identified the mean, we identified the standard deviation, we wrote our probability statement here. The probability of X is less than or equal to 125. And then we did the calculation and you see the image here from StatCrunch and then we have our interpretation sentence. So we said we're gonna do three cases. That's the less than case. Here's the greater than case. Find the probability that a randomly selected adult has an IQ that is above 90. Uh, this is greater than, so you notice my probability statement of X is greater than 90. When we already did the calculation, we know it's going to come to 0 0.7475 or 74.75%. For my interpretation, I'm rounding these. If one adult is randomly selected, the probability their IQ is greater than 90 is approximately 75%. And then finally, the between case, which is the last one I'm going to have to Put it about, well, like why don't I just pull me out of the way? There we go. Find the probability that a randomly selected adult has an IQ between 90 and 125. So there's my 
This is the between case, and the probability there you see is 90 less than x, or and x is less than 115. And when we had already done the calculation, and there you see the results, we got a 0 0.6997, or 69.97%. So my interpretation, if one adult is randomly selected, the probability their IQ is between 90 and 125 is approximately 70%. Now, this is how you would use StatCrunch to solve a greater than, a less than, and a between problem when you only have sample sizes of one. Each one, each time we're randomly selecting one adult. Uh, the example that uh, later on when we use the central limit theorem, we'll have sample sizes that are more than one. But for right now, these sample sizes are one. Uh, I hope this uh, helps everyone. I'm going to try to get this uploaded here in a few minutes. Uh, I'll try to get at least one more of these done tonight.